Keeping students and school employees away from the dangers of the coronavirus while continuing with business operations? That's possible. Introducing vSmart Enroll, an online enrollment system that makes enrollment faster, safer, and more convenient. With vSmart Enroll, all relevant documents can be processed and organized in the comfort of your own home. Here's what vSmart Enroll can offer. vSmart Enroll works online and it promotes a 100% paperless transaction. vSmart Enroll paves the way for an easy and streamlined enrollment setup. It is modeled after DepEd's learning information system to make sure that students' learning records are documented properly and tracked accordingly. This online enrollment system also supports the Data Privacy Act of 2012, so all your data is guaranteed safe and protected. You also don't have to worry about going out of your house to get enrolled, because with vSmart Enroll, everything can be done online within the safety of your own home. Vibal will also be with you throughout the entire enrollment journey as we will provide consistent technical support to help you navigate smoothly through the system. vSmart Enroll is developed and designed for school administrators, registrars, students, and even for parents' use. With this highly convenient system, an hour of enrollment process can be trimmed down to 15 minutes or even less because of its easy and accessible registration and application process for parents and students. Even the registrars will experience fast and easy transactions. You can also subscribe to vSmart Enroll by paying through various payment channels. To subscribe to vSmart Enroll, school administrators just need to create a school account for their institution. How? Simply go to enroll.vsmart.ph, select your subscription plan, agree to the privacy policy, Fill out the online registration form and pay for subscription. Easy peasy! With this user-friendly online platform, the enrollment process can now be accomplished with just a few clicks. Start your enrollment now! Subscribe to vSmart Enroll and experience enrollment like never before. Good evening, Kavibal, and welcome to our Facebook Live Learn at Home session. For today's discussion, our topic will be on Learn at Home, the role of parents in modular distance learning. Before we begin, take note of the following reminders. Make sure you are registered to the webinar to have your e-certificate of participation. Visit certificate.vibalgroup.com to generate your proof of attendance. Place your questions on the comment box allotted during the session and they will be addressed by our speaker later on. Share the video using hashtag LearnAs1PH as our official hashtag to our Vibal webinars. Experience learning, Kavibal! And now, to proceed with our webinar tonight, it is my pleasure to introduce to you our distinguished speaker. Our speaker is a graduate of Bachelor in Secondary Education, major in English, at the University of Luzon in 2004. She obtained her Master of Arts major in Educational Management degree at the University of Rizal System. She currently completed all academic requirements for her doctoral degree in Educational Management at the Marikina Polytechnic College and is just waiting for her final oral defense. Our speaker has been teaching for more than a decade in more than 10 years of teaching profession. She has achieved several awards such as the Well-Loved Teacher for 2019 and Numero Unong Guru, which was given last March 2016. 
She has been active in research, both local and international. Lastly, she is currently the head teacher of the English Department of Bagong Naya National High School and is a part of a school-based management team and research management team. My dear parents, ladies and gentlemen, let us welcome Miss Desi Garcia. Okay, kumusta po ang lahat amidst the pandemic that we are experiencing now? I hope and pray that we always have positive uh, outlook towards these challenges that we are facing. I am again Miss Desi F. Garcia from Deped Antipolo, Bagu Nayin to National High School. Hello po sa aking colleagues and shout out po sa lahat ng aking uh, English teachers. And of course, uh, to our head, uh, Mr. Ronaldo Ayata. Hello po, good evening. And okay, so let's start off. So I will be showing you my PowerPoint. Okay. Okay. Wait a second. Okay. Okay, so again, okay, a pleasant evening to everyone. Glory to God and welcome to Vival's relevant responsive and aligned mission to educate people with the mission of sharing knowledgeable information in promoting learning with this emerging industrial revolution 4.0 in education to Filipinos. I hope you tonight and I hope that I can share my knowledge and expertise going to tackle. So before we start, deepest grants Sir Michael De Galano, together with Mom Sandy and Mom Mildred, it's privilege to be part of the mission. And of course, to Mom Marjorie Cepriano. Thank you, Paul. My topic. Okay, my topic for today is about third timer for parents: a guide in using modular platforms for learning. Okay, so basically, these refer to the challenging responsibilities of parents on this new, now global setting. I know that everybody is preparing for the old class and it's our dear parents, right? Which will always play an enormous role on the different modalities on distance learning. Okay, this actually continuation of last webinar on curriculum primer, which focus on online. And then, ngayon naman po, we are going to focus on the modular platforms for home learning. Okay, so let's start. Okay. Now, I'm going to tackle later on, okay, about what is curriculum. And the basis. Number three module and the FAQ are the frequently asked questions. Number four, the four the responsibility of our dear parents, just like me as a parent. And number five, I am going to share to you the Ikigai. Okay. So for any pictures, okay, before we proceed with our topic for today. Okay, so take a look at the then and now. So as you can see on the left, then, okay, and then on the right side, now. So there is a difference between the two. Okay. Now I'm going to show you another, this one, okay. now another picture and then okay that one 
picture number one, then and now. So basically, on the first picture for then, okay, you can see there a teacher facilitating okay, uh, the learning process and basically school premises, right? Okay, that's then, isn't it? And then for now, okay, because our topic is all about modular distance learning, as you can see there, there is a parent, right? Uh, giving instructions maybe for uh, the kids, okay? Uh, answering a worksheet or a module. Okay, another picture shown, okay? So basically, there are uh, pictures of students who are working out with their groupings, okay? And for now, Okay, so here we go, a father and a kid, okay, a son, and here you go, another one. So basically, then and now talks about what happened of our educational system. Okay. So let's start up. Curriculum. What is curriculum, by the way? The meaning of curriculum. Okay. Curriculum serves as the wheel and steering agent of the school. So take a look at this. Right? Okay, curriculum from Latin term corre, which means to run. Okay. As you can see, uh, there's a picture of a wheel and a steering. Steering, if you're going to define, is a collection of components, linkages, which allows any vehicle to follow the desired Force again to follow the desired force, okay. Just like curriculum, if we're going to contextualize the scenario in the educational system, steering wheel is actually the which our blueprint, okay, in order to run a system, okay. An educational system just steering wheel has to touch on. In short, the content, the learning experiences, the assessment, okay, which is a blueprint for an educational institution or a school institution. Meaning, kung wala silang plano, walang curriculum, okay, walang plano sa institution, hindi aandar ang isang sistema. Okay, and with the proper controlling towards a desired outcome. So, meaning to say, by planning, by assessing, by controlling, by evaluating, and Okay. So let's have the base. I come up with this. Bakit ba kailangan natin ng magulang sa paaralan? Why is it we need the full cooperation of our parents? Because we have the basis. So here we go. So presidential degree number 603 entitled The Child Youth Welfare Code says, Article 1, Declaration of Policy, okay. the child is one of the most important assets of the nation. So every effort should be exerted to promote his welfare and his opportunities for a full, happy life. Okay, uh, I'm so sorry, there is a technical problem. Okay. And let's start off with the presidential degree number as our basis for our regular approach. Our parents. So again, I am one generation of policy. Okay. The child is one of the most important assets of the nation. So every effort 
should be exerted to promote his welfare and enhance his opportunities for a useful and happy life. Okay. What's the meaning of this? It means that okay, we have to give all the needs of the children from physical needs to self-actualization to the highest needs of Maslow's hierarchy of needs called self transition or the sense of sabi nga ni Rizal, okay, ang kabataan ang pag-asa ng Okay, next. So actually, presidential decree number 603. Okay. Of the character of the child's part home. Secondly, every member of strive to make the home a whole and harmonious atmosphere and conditions will greatly influence the child's development. So parents, okay, just like me, you are the nation. Okay? Then you are part of your Okay, another from Article 76, role of the so the home shall fully support the school in the implementation of the total school program, curricular and co-curricular, toward the proper physical, social, intellectual, and moral development of the child. Which means that as parents, okay, you must be aware that you have to have a full on sa kaakibat ng paralan ng so that our learners will be able to develop his full potential. I hashtag PH school we work as one we play as one. Next, tinanong ko to sa aking sarili. Okay. Actually, tinanong ko magulang, uh, makita ko yung title mismo ng uh, ng webinar na ito. Ano mga tinanong bilang isang ordinary magulang regarding modular distance learning. So, videos. Okay. Sabi ko, gagawa nga ako ng tanong. Tatlong tanong na pwede na magulang. Unang-una sa lahat, Okay, so what is module? Answer. Module is a unit of work in a course of virtually self-contained and a message is based on okay, knowledge in discrete units. Ibig sabihin na ito. Parang sanda lang yung kata sa mahal kita, pinamahal kita ang kapat. Okay. okay. From from the introduction, activities, okay, yung mga procedures or directions na binigay ni teacher. Okay. This is a course of instruction which is self-contained, self-guided, which a method of teaching. Okay. Na ngayon ay in the end because of our situation na hindi pwede ang face-to-face -face learning. Okay, so nag-research din ako on a review of related literature. Talaga nga bang ginagamit? Tinanong ko rin ng sarili ang modular distance. Uh, here's my answer. As for our live search, teaching is one of the widespread and recognizes teaching learning techniques in the United States even in Australia and many other okay, countries, including the Asian region. It is a recent development based on the program learning, a well-established and universally recognized phenomenon. It considers the individual differences among the learners, which necessitates an important to create teaching techniques in order to help the individual grow and development at her own pace. 
Okay, so basically, it's a trend. Okay, ginagamit din siya globally. Okay, um, Mojar approach is actually taken to another country. Okay, another comes to my mind, bigla lang, ano pa ba? Um, mag the uh, define module kung ano ba yung module the question is ano nga ano natin ang books right okay. pero bago sa atin to modular okay kung ikaw ay isang magulang ordinary na magulang ano yung mga so i've searched that and here it comes with uh, uh um, formats okay i have there four formats apat uh, yung in other institutions. So I hope it will help us to gain some knowledge about this. As you can see, there are four format one, two, three, and four. Format four columns, three, four rows. Okay. The explanation about that as you as you analyze the first row of format one, format two, three, and four are actually okay the same. Also with row uh, row two, three, and four. These parts of the module are actually modified, okay, technically. But, okay, yung mga rows na yan ay para para lang kung saan ang face nila. Okay? Example, what do you new? Sabi nito, sa para to organizations or inaasahan natin regarding the module, yung content ng module. Aside from that, whether in sa ibang institution, it's a motivation or activating or preliminary activities. And for format four, it's an introduction. As you can see there, okay, introduction, learning objectives. So, meaning to say, on the first phase, on the first row, okay, format one to four, it's the introduction and the objectives of the module. Objectives are actually the males or what we call essential learning. Yung mga uh, bagay na that ay mag-gain ng isang estudyante or yung anak niyo. Okay? That's actually introduction. Next, yung second row natin, as you can see there, okay, what I know, what's in, what is it. And for the second row, format number two, Pre-test, unang pagsubok, introduction, maikling pagpapakilala ng atin. And remember, another thing for format 3 naman, presentation of the lesson, the lesson And for format 4, key concepts. Again, yun po na second row is actually the same. Okay? Ang pinagkaiba nga lang is the, the definition of terms. Okay? Pero para para yan. And that phase, okay, is actually the development phase. Ito na yung part that we're going to have higher knowledge ng isang bata, magbibigay si teacher ng pre-test, magbibigay siya ng pre preliminary activities on the, the key concepts, okay, to start with the lesson. Okay, pwede magbibigay siya ng activity na dalawa, okay, after ng pre-test. Okay? Now, again, that is a development phase. Next, the third row, okay, as you can see, what's more, what I can do, what other enrichment activities can I engage, and additional activities. So, on the third row, activities, the in application, okay, learning activities two, okay, on format three naman, guided practice number one, discussion modeling number two, okay, guided practice number two. And for the format four, okay, learning activity one, learning activity two. Okay, on this part, this is not the phase where in, okay, the students are actually engaging. Okay, and ito na yung uh, point na they're going to answer questions, hats questions, okay, higher order thinking skills questions. They're going to create something, for example, going to create an essay, a paragraph, okay. So, you can say, oh, that's stage, okay. This is the application. It is actually called, okay, on the critical thinking level of activities. Okay. Dito sa development group, okay, uh, some additional You are part of this. 
collaboration okay during the development phase of the second row okay kayo ay involved dyan as parent pwede kayo mag-assist okay? for example may binigay sa TLE query for example pwede kayo mag-prepare ng food during that okay bibigay si teacher ng mga activities na uh, babasahin pwede niyo as, as a collab pwede kayo magbasa okay ng poem okay sa Samaritan, for example, if it is addition, pwede kayong mag-collab, mag-add din kayo. Okay. But definitely, just to take note, hindi kayo pwedeng kayong sumagot nung alalain nyo din sila. Collab. I-prepare nyo yung mga dapat na i-prepare ng materials. Okay. Let's have last one, the one, which is on the row four. Uh, format one, two, and two, three, and four. Okay, rather, what I have learned what I can do, okay, the assessment and the reflection. For format two, on a row four, post-test, okay, ang wakas na pagsusulit, reflection, okay, and then, or pag ninilay, then on the third format, we have synthesis, closure, agreement, and on the fourth, the evaluation and reflection. So on this part, okay, this is what we call now the assimilation, okay. This will be the part na meron mga tanong si teacher, maybe more na multiple choices, using the hostess, okay? So, alalayan nyo rin sila. But, however, hindi nyo pwedeng, uh, hindi nyo pwedeng ibigay lahat ng sag sa kanila. Alalayan nyo lang, i-assist nyo lang sila kung tapos na sila on that part. And of course, on reflection. Reflection, as you can see there, on the fourth uh, row, from format one to four, there is a reflection, right? Reflection, uh, nilay, closure agreement. This is very important. Okay, a reflection in the learners reflect on the knowledge, skills, and attitudes that they gain okay, from the first phase, which is the introduction to the engagement and assimilation part. Meaning to say, okay, uh, to the society, Okay. To sum up, again, these are the following the parts of uh, a module. Pero, dependent ito ha sa school, kung nasaan kayo. Dependent kung ano yung mga technical terms na gusto nilang sabihin. But, just to give you uh, the parts, okay, of the other institutions. So, again, yung first row is actually or the, uh, the, the phase we're in. It is called the introduction, opener, or the motivation, or the preliminary activity. The second one is development, giving the prior knowledge, uh, pre-test, okay, uh, preliminary activity, deepening, and key concepts. And lots, okay, lots are actually those questions na that will answer uh, WH, when, where, okay, what, okay. Those words are actually on the lots. Okay. And then on engagement, the, three, the number three phase, okay, the application, another term for that, or creative thinking skills activities, and the hot. The higher order thinking skills are actually those uh, questions that answers uh, why, okay, that explain something. Okay. And the fourth one is assimilation, or giving the post test and evaluation of the teacher. And the reflection, or what you have learned. Okay, now, so we are done with that, with the meaning of module and with the parts of the module. Now, what Vival can offer you with those things that we are uh, discussing? So, ang Vival ay most that will help you as a parent. So, uh, you can ask uh, them about this on their page. Okay, it's called the self-learning module, which Okay, and, uh, contains the following module objectives. Okay, is based from essential learning uh, competencies. Also, instruction regarding the module, and this is actually the introduction. Let us start. Binigyan lang nila ng pinakatayong nila. we also have let us learn the skills that they're going to have, and the activity is actually uh, Of course, 
they also have notes to parents on in the website. Also, uh, they call it remember another thing for the module or an SLM. Uh, it summarizes all key concepts from the lesson. Okay, now this slide is actually a teach at home guide. Okay. You can also search on the, the website, bivalgroup.com. Okay, and type in teach at home. This Nila is actually okay. Okay, activity sheets. Okay, you can search on that supplement. These are actually for free. Okay, so pwede nyo di siyang search as a help para sa ating uh, mga magulang. Okay, now, let us continue. Okay. This is actually the third question na tinanong ko sa sarili ko as a parent. Okay, so ano kayo yung maging role ko bilang magulang dito sa modular approach na ito? So, my role as parent. As you can see there, picture is worth a thousand words. So, yun mga activities na pwede nyo gawin sa mga akin. I will not discuss it. It's just a picture. Okay? So, as, uh, um, as far as uh, uh, you're going to. Now, so, uh, normal. Okay, number one, PLC. Kailangan natin ng tender, loving care. Okay. It should always be unconditional love. Diba? Sabi nga sa 1 Corinthians 13, verse 13. And now these three remain. The faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of this is the life. As in, alam naman natin yan, this uh, unquestionable na mahal natin ng Next, words of encouragement. Okay. Positive lagi. Lagi natin tayo isang bata unang-una sa ating binang pangya. Be positive, be the person na kahit may mga negative thoughts, laging maging positibo at laging isipin na may purpose ang hat. Give them positive words in order for them to focus things that they want. Number three, set guidelines. And uh, of course, schedule the uh, daily routine must be established. Okay, Discipline always starts at home, right? Kailangan natin maging consistent sa ating mga rules sa bahay. Pero in a nice way, right? Okay, so you can post on the wall, yung mga schedules, gaya ng ginagawa ko rin, kung ano yung uh, schedule nila from 8 to 5. For example, from 8 to 9, pwedeng uh, breakfast muna, and then 9 to 9.30, personal hygiene time, okay? And then 9.30, pwede over with their uh, uh, module, okay? Or learning activity sheets on the module. Like, during that time. And after which, lunchtime, yeah. So, mag, mag uh, info lang rules uh, and schedules. Okay? And then for that, may establish na yan, like the, the time management. Okay, yung discipline na meron sila, na may gagawin. Okay, next. Share your knowledge. Okay, sabi ko nga kanina, on the development phase, you are actually giving them Okay. So again, and then you share something. Kung hindi kayo alam, pwede rin yun yun. Di naman tanungin sila kasi pero uh, silang alam na hindi pa rin natin alam. At mga tutu Okay, number five. Collaborate. Ito na yung sinasabi ko kanina. And facilitate. Kanina ko pa sinasabi ito. Halimbawa sa experiment, kung ang subject ay cookery, yan, pwede kayong gumawa ng activities. Okay? So, sinabi ko na yan. And then, sa English, pwede magbasa rin kayo. Katulad ng mga words na in articulate manner. Okay? Pwede na mag, ano kayo sa AD, let's say, capital, games, yan. Uh, pwede rin yan. As your, uh, as learning, it will, you have a very, very, okay, 
um, big part in collaborative uh, discussions sa uh, activities on presentation collaboration pwede niyo rin sa agent may natapos ka bang ngayon araw na to ano ano pa yung mga schedules mo na dapat ang topics mo and after which okay number six always okay, with your children of course with advisors and teachers okay communicate uh, constant communication right, is needed kailangan natin pag communicate para malaman natin ang kaloobin ng ating mga anak okay kung musta yun sila kung okay pa ba sila kung kailangan ba nila muna magpahinga for instance or kung kailangan nila maglaro okay kung musta yun sila Okay. Next, kumusta yung din natin, sir? Why and the teacher? Okay. Of course, for example, may mga bagay na hindi tayo alam. So, kailangan ay uh, uh, contact natin sila, communicate with them. Ma'am, sir, ano po ba yung kailangan gawin dito? Kasi hindi rin alam ng akin. Na, try to uh, communicate every now and then sa kanila. Okay? Next, we have Okay, rewards. Okay, basically this is uh, my consistent okay home strategy. The motivation ko sa aking mga anak. Okay, uh, meron may merong honor or walang honor. Okay. Ang importante doon is natapos sila ng pag-aaral. Uh, walang masyadong accomplishment or may accomplishment, bigyan niyo sila ng reward. Okay, let's appreciate them. Pwede through hugging, kissing them. Okay. Pwede yun. And kung meron kayong budget, pwede magluto si nani or si tatay ng merienda or dessert. Just a simple reward for them. Or kung medyo may budget pa kayo ng konti, pwede bilhin nyo sila ng toys. Okay? Yung gusto nila na uh, kaya nyo. Kaya nyo bigyan. And of course, okay, pray. Higit sa lahat. Okay? You have to have a bonding na mag-pray kayo. Okay? Higit sa lahat, ah, uh, Uh, ngayon, sa mga panahon ngayon na hinahamon tayo ng napakalang magdasal ng ating mga anak. Hindi man natin so, okay, uh, their material needs, okay, the good mothers and right conduct values, okay, uh, maipapamahan natin ito. Okay? Upang magkaroon siya ng magandang kinabukasan. Pray, pray, and pray. Sa so, pagkat, Okay. Kung meron tayo okay. uh, what will happen? Ito ay may gawa, gawi at damdam. Okay. Kung may gawa tayo, may gawi at damdam or in English, kung may actions tayo na ginagawa and it will become a habits or study habits at meron tayong feelings. Okay. Maging sensible tayo okay. sa ating mga ginagawa at mga itinaparandam sa ating mga anak. And then, Okay. This will become okay, kasayan at kaugalihan. Meaning to say, we can acquire all the knowledge, the skills, and the attitudes kung meron tayong gawi, gawa, at damdam. Okay. This is actually taken from the book of one of my professors, Dr. Kong. Yan ang tinuro niya sa amin. Kung meron kayong gawa, gawi, at damdam, magkakaroon kayo ng kaalaman, kasayan, at kaugalihan. The study habit matuto, kailangan kong magkaroon ng alaman, ng kasanayan, at yung ugali, or the good attitudes that we have. To become okay, successful. This is equals to successful. Hindi kong na bagay, pero na tayo ay may magandang attitude towards the IT. At pwede nyo Asia ito sa inyong mga anak. Okay? So, bilang pagwakas, I will see another quotation. Okay, this one. This is now the hour approach. Yan. Parental involvement is one of the keys to educational achievement. So, again, kailangan na kailangan namin kayo. Okay, during this uh, time, okay, kayo ay aming maaasahan at agapay sana okay, sa paghubog ng ating anak. 
okay, to, to success okay, para sa ating mga achievements ng ating mga anak. Okay. Now, bilang pang, pagwaka, uh, pangwakas, uh, ang inaalay ng word, this is actually coming from a Japanese concept called ikigai or meaning to say a reason for being. Okay. It is actually a Japanese concept that means a reason for being. Okay. The words which refers to interaction or purpose in life. Okay. That makes okay, one's life worthwhile and towards which individual takes spontaneous and willing actions giving them satisfaction and a sense of meaning to life. So, ano ba yung purpose natin kung bakit tayo nandito? Nandito tayo because of our passion, our mission, our profession, right? And our vocation. And for that, you're going to ask, ano nga ba yung reason for being? What one loves? Do we love uh, our family? Our neighbors? Okay. What one is good at? Ano yung mga bagay na? That is the reason for being. Right? And mga strength ko. Okay. And then, what the world needs? Ano nga ba yung kailangan do? Just like Vival, this is the mission of Vival. They want to share knowledgeable information. And another thing, what one can be for? This is an advocation. This is the investment. Kung ang ating mga anak ay a successful life, this is our achievement. What one can be paid for? Ito yung magiging outcome natin. Not just, like, not just an output, but an outcome. So, again, references. Okay, so references coming from the original memorandum and together with uh, uh, 289 series 2020, okay, and so on and so forth. Okay, to end up, again, we heal as one. Okay, uh, hashtag we learn together. Hashtag. Thank you for listening and viewing. Again, I am uh, Desi Fernandez. Okay, and let's have now some questions. Okay, coming from our uh, live stream and hello, okay, Papa Desi. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Good evening, po. Let me just read, ma'am, some of the questions from our viewers on Facebook. Ayan po, ma'am. Okay, so our first question po, Ma'am Desi, this is from Ms. Riana De La Paz. Ma'am, how do we address child addiction to social media that they do not interact with us anymore? Okay, uh, sabi ko nga kanina, communication okay, is very important. Kailangan, we have to communicate with them, Ma'am. Uh, kailangan ay may establish natin yung ating... Uh, communication and bonding with them. Kailangan ay set tayo ng rules, okay, para sila ay uh, uh, magkaroon ng of, okay, anong oras kaya ang playtime. Siyempre, bibigyan niyo pa rin sila ng playtime okay? as a reward. So, ano, mag-aral na kayo, you have to answer the learning activity sheets, assignment, and then which uh hour for them to play. Okay. Yung saan ginagawa ko rin is tinatago ko muna yung kanilang uh, tab. So, pwede yun as a strategy. Okay. Another one, ma'am? And another question? Yes po, ma'am. This is from Miss Naomi Lazarate. Good okay. evening po, ma'am Garcia. Question po. Helpful po ba ang time out as form of punishment para po makaaral sila or better join them as a means of communication? Okay, time out. Talagang kailangan natin yan. Magpahinga. Okay? Uh, join with them. Um, pwede. Pwedeng join pero pwede rin naman bigyan nyo sila ng space. Kasi minsan ang bata, di ba? Medyo po na po. Okay, uh, gusto niyo muna ng space within the sarili niya. So, bigyan niyo sila na person. Okay. 
take the uh, take time for them to rest. So, kailangan nila. Okay po, ma'am. Then, for our last question for tonight, Ma'am Desi, so the question came from Mr. Roger G. Ang question po ay, Madam, may tips po ba kayo sa fathers in order to communicate with our sons and daughters? Okay. Um, very important yan, ano, na kailangan ang tatay din ay nakikipag-communicate sa mga anak. Okay? Mati yung for sure, kailangan ay kung hindi masyadong close sa tatay, you have to initiate as father, uh, kausapin mo sila in a nice way. Okay? Uh, minsan na ginagawa nam is uh, uh, makikipag-date muna dun sa panganay na anak. Sila muna magtatay. Tapos yung pangalawa, pangalawa naman anak, sa akin naman. Or later, swap kami. Okay? May date muna silang dalawa ng pangalawa at may date muna kami nung uh, unang anak. So, date, mag-date kayo. For now, hindi muna, but uh, in case na mag-normal na, mag-date kayo as father. So, maganda yun na strategy para maging close kayo sa isa't isa bilang matatay. So, communicate. Laging makipag-communicate sa kanila. Lagi nyo silang pausapin. Kayo yung mag-initiate. If in case baka nahihiya yung anak ninyo na makipag-communicate. So, try to reach them out. Okay po ma'am, so these are all the questions that we would be entertaining for now. So for all the other questions that were not addressed, we'll try to reach out to you through the comment box of this video. And yeah. then ma'am, before we end the session po, do you have any final reminders to our viewers for this evening? Okay, so I just want to greet my English department of Bago Nine International High School. They are actually watching now, as I can see on the viewers' box. Okay, for my tagupa, beautiful ladies, tropa ng Sir L, my Venus Ramirez, my Gemma Dator, my head teachers group, my MPC family, my Abby Gamyao, my Christy Lasagas, my Ronald Estroga, my Chelo, who's watching right now, my Chelo Lasaka, and my Hai de la Cruz. Together with MPC classmates, hello po, URS family, my MPC, my passing and uh, mentors, of course, and to my L, my son, and to my uh, nanay, Prezi, and uh, sinusuportahan ako ngayon. She's watching together with my uh, kapatid, Desiree Fernandez. Hi, Justin Arnold and R.C. Joshua, my two kids and my hubby na full support nandito ngayon. Uh, thank you so much. And mabuhay, Vibal. Mabuhay, Pilipinas kung mahal. We heal as one as we learn together. Thank you, Mom, Kiana, and Mom Sandy for the opportunity. There we have it. In behalf of Vibal Group Incorporated, Mom Desi, we would like to thank you for being with us this evening to spend your time in sharing your knowledge to our parents and teachers who are viewing our live stream for this evening. And of course, to all our Kavibal viewers, thank you very much for your continuous patronage to our live sessions. We hope to see you next week and tomorrow, of course, for all the other webinars we will be having and for all the learning sessions that we will be uh, that we will be having. So thank you very much. Magandang gabi po sa ating lahat and happy weekend, everyone. Happy weekend. Thank you so much.